Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Thursday, October 14th, 2021. I'm Greg Wilkins, and I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will help encourage, inspire, and motivate you, as well as put a smile on your face. Today's devotional is entitled, Upon Further Review. It's in the middle of football season, whether it be college, high school, or the NFL, and some words that we do not like hearing is upon further review, which means that play has stopped for one reason or another to look at a play that's too close to call based on what happened on the field. So the head referee goes underneath the booth and checks everything out, and he says one of three things. He says it's confirmed, which means there's no doubt that the play on the field is absolutely true. Or they say the, the play stands as called, which means it looked iffy, but it wasn't enough evidence to overturn it. Or they will say it's reversed because what was called was not true and there was enough evidence to overturn the call. So we hate those words in that case. It's also used in courts. You know, you have a trial by jury or you have a judge be the who be the decider and the de- decision goes one way. Well, if a person doesn't agree with it, they can go to an appellate court and they can take the place, take the case under further review. And whether they find evidence that was detrimental or conclusive to the decision of the case, it may either be sent back for retrial or it may the decision may be upheld and they can go to the state Supreme Court or usually to the U.S. Supreme Court, however farther it goes. But when you hear upon further review, that means somebody else is reviewing it. But if you want to know something that's definitely certain for you, you've got to do it yourself. When someone gives you a restaurant recommendation, you, we don't just take it at its word and say the food's good there, even though we've never eaten there and we're never going to eat there. If someone gives us a food recommendation, we'll go try it out to see if it's good for ourselves. We don't just take their word for it. We go and do it for ourselves. The same thing happens to us in the Christian world. There's a thing called church hurt, where, where people are offended or they're hurt by the actions of the church and we as Christians really have to be aware of that. We sometimes want to blame the outside of the world, but sometimes we got to look at ourselves and see how we're portraying ourselves. Are we get are we living that ivory tower syndrome and thinking that everybody's beneath us? So when they come in dressed a certain way, we're looking at them like they're already guilty of something. We've all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So we have no right to prejudge anybody because we don't know what they've gone through or what they're going through now so people feel hurt and they don't go back just based off the original feelings of what they had or what they felt at that time so they just dismissed themselves from church and unfortunately dismissed themselves from god but what i want you to encourage you on today whether you have been guilty of feeling church hurt or indirectly giving church hurt we all got to review ourselves And we all really get a closer relationship with God. We have to do that for ourselves. The Bible tells us to, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Just like the restaurant recommendation. We don't taste, we don't just take the word of the person with the food recommendation. We go taste it to see if it's good for ourselves. The same thing with a relationship with Jesus Christ. We as humans will offend somebody and say things and do things to each other. And if we allow it, it will make us bitter about everything that's going on with the church or the people in the church or with God in general. Sometimes we get upset with God because a family member dies and we don't understand why. So we just turn ourselves away from God. But I encourage you to take a deeper close, take a further review, because the only way to truly know God for yourself is to really get to know him for yourself. Try him for yourself. He will prove to you that he'll be there. He'll prove to you that he loves you and that he cares for you. So I encourage you on today. I don't care who's hurt you in the past. I don't care who's hurting you now. I don't care who might hurt you in the future. Develop that relationship with God for yourself. So regardless of who or what has done something to you or what will happen to you, you'll have that close relationship to stand flat footed and say, I know what he's done for me. So there's nothing that can happen that's going to deter me from the love of God. I'm, I'm here to tell you, he loves you. He cares for you. He'll stand you up, he'll strengthen you, he'll encourage you to keep moving forward if you just try it for yourself. Today's feature song is a beautiful worship song by Charles Jenkins in Fellowship Chicago entitled 
just to know him. And it's a song that just tells us what he's done for us. And if you want to know more, you got to try for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Go and try a relationship with God for yourself. Now, I encourage you to fall back on that relationship when you feel church hurt or when you feel offended or you feel depressed or you feel let down, or you feel worried or you feel anxiety. No matter what you feel, fall back on your relationship with God. You can't judge a book by its cover. But you got to open up that book and read the pages. So don't go by what other people have told you about the church or what other people told you about God or what other people have told you about this and that and the other. Try God for yourself. Remember, the Bible tells us to oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Let's try the Lord for yourself. And I, and I pray that you'll seek God to be who you need him to be in your life at that time. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for all you've done for us. We thank you for your faithfulness towards us. We thank you for your renewing grace and mercy every day. But most of all, Lord, we thank you for taking our place on the cross, for coming to take our place. You loved us so much that you laid down your life for us. So Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the relationship we have with you. And Lord, we thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us. Lord, we just want to delve deeper into you, get into the deep things of you. Reveal yourself to us new every day. Continue to love us. Continue to be patient with us. Continue to lead us and guide us in all that we do say or think. And Lord, we thank you. And Lord, we search and seek a deeper relationship on you today. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the time in which we give anniversary and birthday shout outs. And once again, no anniversary shout outs. I'm sure there are some out there, so just send them in. But for birthdays today, happy birthday to Dr. Karen Russell a college classmate of mine, and happy birthday to Natasha Wilkins. Dr. Russell and Natasha, I hope you're both well, and I hope you have a very blessed birthday, and may God bless you with many more. Now, once again, if you have any anniversary shout outs that you're celebrating or you know anyone who's celebrating, as well as any birthday shout outs, as well as just comments in general, a song request, a devotional topic request, or a performance that you would like to send in to be a feature on the Daily Pause Devotional, you can do so by leaving them in the comment section below or contact me at The Daily Pause on Facebook or by email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com. I pray today's devotional will encourage you to seek a relationship with God for yourself. Don't go by what I tell you. Don't go by what someone else tells you. Experience God for yourself and find out how good he can be to you and for you. Enjoy today's feature song, Just to Know Him, Featuring Byron Cage by Charles Jenkins and Fellowship Chicago. Released off the album Any Given Sunday, released in 2016. This was produced, this is published on YouTube by Charles Jenkins. And I hope you're blessed. I hope you're encouraged. I hope this song encourages you to once again seek a deeper relationship with God. Continue to love each other. Continue to be safe. And remember, every day there's always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I'll see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song. It starts right now. God bless and seek and find the Lord for yourself on today.
Jesus. 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 